This is why you don't need a parking lot. easy I'm about to go do that oh man this SoCal Rider B channel is tight I'm gonna subscribe oh yeah man this is gonna be legit that video showed me how easy it is I'm about to put my gloves on yeah I'm about to go ride this bike that's easy get my gloves on heck yeah get my helmet on Brody this about to be a breeze buddy that SoCal Rider B channel tight he just showed me how easy it is to ride a motorcycle. I'm fired up. I'm about to ride my motorcycle to a parking lot so I can learn how to ride my motorcycle. Wait, 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 hold up. How am I gonna ride my motorcycle to a parking lot so I can learn how to ride my motorcycle? Man, this SoCal Rider B channel is stupid. I'm about to unsubscribe. How I'm gonna get my motorcycle to the parking lot to ride, man. I'm unsubscribing. This dude channel sucks. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, for real, as soon as I say I'm gonna unsubscribe because this dude made a video about how to get your motorcycle to a parking lot to learn how to ride, but I don't know how to get my motorcycle to a parking lot, he gonna drop a video about how to ride your motorcycle if you can't get it to a parking lot. Man, this YouTube algorithm is creepy low key, but I'm still gonna check it out. Videos, we're gonna slow down back with another video y'all know the last time i the last video i posted i said i was gonna have a daughter i did she's here even though i said the videos were gonna slow down i started thinking about y'all and how much i miss you so i decided to make another video and this one is super relative i promise i got a comment on one of the videos that does the best on my channel it's the video about how to ride a motorcycle in 15 minutes and I saw some comments and those comments said, what do I do if I can't get my motorcycle to the parking lot? So this video, I'm going to cover what do you do if you want to practice and train on your motorcycle, but you can't get your motorcycle to the parking lot. In other words, your problem of not being able to get your motorcycle to a parking lot is actually the solution. Let's say I live in these apartments. That might be you. I would say that riding in this apartment complex is the perfect place to ride. All right, we're gonna raise up our garage at 237. We're gonna come out, right? We're gonna hop on the bike right here. We're gonna turn it on. And we're gonna start riding right here. And why is this one of the best places to ride? If I'm riding over here, right? I have everything I need which keeps me mentally ready and trains me mentally to be ready for cars that will pull out. We got UPS trucks moving. Look at this, I'm ready. Look at that, every turn I've made, we got a car coming out. So why is this good? Well, in real life, well, after we leave the parking lot, right, we're gonna be finding ourselves in situations where we're gonna have cars coming in and out left and right. You know, you're not gonna get that type of real world practice if you're on an empty parking lot on a Saturday. You feel what I'm saying? First thing that's happening here is I'm approaching an intersection. So for those of you that don't know, if you haven't been to a motorcycle safety course, these are intersections. It's not just the things that are in the street. Speaking of that concept of intersections, right? Every single one of these parking spots is considered an intersection. So you're, you're, you're training your mind and you're training your brain to be ready to look for if these cars are on, to be ready to practice that emergency braking if, they're, if they do come out. And also, guess what I just did? I practiced a U-turn. And I've never been in this apartment complex before. I didn't know I was gonna have to do that U-turn, but that is something else that is another benefit of practicing right here in this apartment complex if I live here, that I would never get in the parking lot. And that is the ability to make quick movements without freaking out because I couldn't anticipate what was gonna happen. So, already without being able to take my bike to a parking lot and practice in an empty space, just practicing right where I am with what I have, 
I have the ability to train myself to be ready for cars passing by, right? I have the ability to be ready for any car to pull out at any time. I have the ability to practice my slow speed turns like this, counterbalance as we turn, right? I also have the ability to practice my stopping, right? And I have a better ability to practice my turning from a stop position because in a parking lot in a parking lot like an empty parking lot in the mall or somewhere i can take a left turn or a right turn and how do i really know if that was a good left turn or a bad right you know a good left turn or a bad left turn well i really don't know but if i know that i'm practicing here if you can see this line that's going right here, when I turn from this stop position, I gotta make sure I stay in the right lane. Because if I go too far to the left, I'm gonna end up over in, in head on traffic, right? So that is another benefit of practicing right where I'm at. Let's, let's, let's turn, right? I don't want you to feel like if you can't get to a parking lot, you know, where it's all empty, that you can't practice and that you can't train. In fact, where you are and what you have is better than where you're not and what you don't have. Now that's dropping wisdom, I'm gonna say it again. Where you are and what you have is better than where you're not and what you don't have, you feel me? Or let's say that this house right here is actually my house. Let's say right here where I'm just going all over people property. I hope I don't get shot, bruh. But anyways, let's just say that this is my house right here. This is not my house. I hope they forgive me. Maybe they'll think I want to buy it. Guess what I get to practice that I never get to practice in the motorcycle safety course. And I don't get to practice. I don't get to practice in a parking lot. I get to practice going uphill. See that? Boom. I'm going uphill. I also get to practice pulling my bike out backwards. So instead of focusing on, I can't get my motorcycle to a parking lot, what do I do? I start focusing on what I have and what I can do. This is just some of the benefits of being able to practice right where you are. If you just started with where you were and you practice for 30 minutes, you are building up your mental fatigue. You're building up your mental capacity to ride. One of the reasons people crash is because they space out, you know, they zone out. If you ever look at Dan Dan, the fireman's videos, you know, he'll talk about the, the brown stage, the orange stage and all that. Shout out to, to him. We ain't cool like that, but I think he does good work. Um, he'll talk about when people zone out, when people, you know, they, they, they zone out. You know, when you ride a car, you do zone out. You just kind of get there. On a motorcycle, you cannot zone out. You zone out and something happens and you snap out of it and you react too fast. That's where accidents happen. That's where situations happen, right? Like you got a car coming here. So I don't get to simulate this. I don't get to simulate cars coming by like that. I don't get to simulate pulling out to this left, you know, pulling out to my left, making sure no cars on the left and the right and in and making sure that I turned in the correct arc so that I'm actually ending up over there where I need to be. This is the benefit of practicing in your neighborhood. So anyways, if you come out of your house, you know, practice going up and down your driveway a few times, you're getting your your uphill practice, bro. And then you come and you ride around your neighborhood for 30 minutes, you're building up your mental stamina. Okay, so watch this. Let me give you an idea of what you could do. Let's say I just came out of my house there and I say, you know what? I'm gonna practice my left hand turns. Left hand signal, look left. Oh, what do we have here? Car coming. What if I would've just shot out there? Boom, I got hit, right? Or to cause some problems or embarrass myself. Now, in a parking lot, I would've, if I wouldn't have looked left and I would've just took off, I would have been building a bad habit. These are just some of the benefits of practicing where you at. Okay, look at that. We got cars coming on the left-hand side. I'm also anticipating any of these cars on my right-hand side pulling out. This is causing me to have to focus, 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 focus. In addition, every time I pass by one of these, these, um, these entryways to another street, that is called an intersection. So I'm, at, I'm able to anticipate the intersection. I got people walking in front of me. I cannot simulate this on a empty parking lot on a Saturday. I'm riding in my neighborhood. I forgot about 
that this was gonna put me on the street, what do I do? I have two options. I can stop, I can stop and go right, and now I'm on the street, but I'm freaked out, or I can bust that left and go up this hill. So now, just like they bust a U-turn, I'm gonna bust a U-turn, because I'm scared, right? I'm not ready to go on the street yet. So first, I'm gonna put this in first, first gear. I'm going to um, angle these handlebars left, check my rear view mirror, look left, lean left, counter, counter weight, and I'm back up. And I got a car coming behind, which is now coming in front of me. All these little things just cannot be simulated. This also lets me practice throttle control. Throttle control, let's talk about it. Being able to keep the bike at a constant speed, I have a longer runway to practice that in a neighborhood than I do in a parking lot. If I want to practice throttle control, I can practice it with a longer, with, with a greater degree of precision in my neighborhood than I can in a parking lot. Let, let me give you an example. Let's say I want to ride 20 miles in first gear and stay there. Let's go. Check that dash. So now I'm trying to modulate that 20, that 20 miles an hour in first gear. I can't, I can't ride around like the way I'm doing now and really get a feel for first gear and practice throttle control in the parking lot the way I can in this neighborhood. How long I'm in, look how long I'm in first gear practicing 20. Now I'm going uphill. How, do, how does my throttle control and my throttle response change when I'm going uphill? That's my point. You will never be able to practice throttle control with this to this degree, with this type of precision in your in a parking lot the way you would in your neighborhood. I'm rhyming and I ain't even trying, but I know I should. Man, hold up. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna practice for 30 minutes. Maybe you say all I'm gonna practice is going up it uphill on my driveway. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna practice going uphill from a standstill. Dang, I'm still rhyming for real. I'm gonna practice going uphill from a standstill. Maybe that's all you do in your driveway, right? Maybe that's all you do. In turns, all I wanna do is practice left hand turns for 30 minutes. Now, if you find yourself zoning out during that 30 minutes, scale it back to 20 the next time, right? But yeah, so whether you wanna just practice left hand turns, right hand turns, U turns, throttle control, braking, signaling, whatever you wanna practice, I do believe you can practice it a lot better. You can practice it a lot better in a neighborhood than you can a parking lot. Just like this, U turns. all I want to do if this is all I want to do and then breaking that's all I want to practice I could practice that taking off and stopping if that's all I want to practice taking off and stopping if that's all I want to practice I don't need a parking lot for that I'm right here in the neighborhood. See what I'm saying? That's all I want to practice. That's all I need. If I want to practice shifting up. And then shifting down. Shifting up. Shifting down. Shifting up. Shifting down. Shifting up. Shifting down. Whatever I want to practice. I don't need a parking lot for it, baby. That's all I care. What else, what else we practice in the parking lot? That's it. You don't need nothing else. Now I'm out of here, bro. Man, that SoCal Rider B always been cool in my book. Shoot, I'm going to go back and subscribe. Seems like just when I was complaining about not getting my motorcycle to a parking lot, he go and drop that fire. I guess I better go practice. Why do that, man? Let me go subscribe.